where did I put that other screw? Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, I showed some pictures of the little skull I got at Michael's. And this is me modifying it. Um, the wife talked me into making this video on this after I uh, finally got around to doing it. Um, if you look at some of the pictures, um, there was no brow on the on the little styrofoam one, and the forehead was next to non-existent. So I buffed. I made this a little bit bigger with clay, and I made more eyebrows. And I fixed the nose a little bit. I gave it this little bone sticking out. Um, the skull, I carved out these holes. Uh, and I just lined them with clay. Uh, so they're a little stiffer. Uh, I'll be doing the teeth later. Um, and I've done most of the head. Uh, if you notice, there's cracks in here. Uh, they're intentional. Uh, I'm not sure if you can zoom in and see. I put lines across. That anatomy website I mentioned on another video uh, shows where these cracks are in the skull and kind of what they look like. Um, I believe they were called sutures, uh, probably because the lines hashing across look like little stitches. Um, I've done most of the skull. I'm going to do this last section right now. Put that in the way. Uh, all this is is air dry clay. I believe it's Air Magic. Uh, it's made by the same company that makes Sculpey. So let me just work it, let it heat up a little bit. And what we'll do is we'll just coat this with a little bit of water. I just put a little water on there. Uh, and it's to just smear it right on. And the good part about this clay is it's really easy to work with. Uh, it sticks even though it's only really thin uh, and what you're just trying to do is just cover the foam um, and it'll stick to your fingers like that that just means you need a little bit more water on your fingers and it'll come right off and that, that's also how you smooth it is just get your fingers wet and you can that bump right there work it in and it smooths out uh, I'm sure there's some sculptors out there that are rolling over in their grave or wishing they were dead so they could roll over in their grave at how I'm doing this but this works for me now what I use this is just a piece of dowel this is um, just a stick basically and I sharpened one point to a round and the other side I made kind of flat so I could basically I made my own tool if you can't afford art tools don't worry about it. you can usually make your own without too much of a headache So now you've got this big horrible gash in your thing and you're going, oh my God, what did he talk me into doing? So not hard. All you do now is you're going to make lines, like little stitches. They don't have to be perfectly in line. Uh, you can, Actually, you kind of want them a little bit of a zigzag, a little cross stitch pattern. So now you can see how mashed up and nasty that looks compared to the other side. All you do get your fingers wet and just rub it down and what happens is it kind of liquefies the clay so a little bit of it slips in all those cracks and all you're left with is a hint of that crack 
Because what happens is, when you're born, your head has to be squishable. And I'll let your parents explain that one to you. Um, but as you grow up, you these bones harden into shape. And then you have a rigid skull, so your brain don't get squished if you ever bang it. So, we'll just keep going like that. And these should stand out when we blackwash it. What I did was I drew pencil lines where I wanted the new ridges and teeth. Uh, what I did was the human body has 32 teeth, if I remember right. So half of that is 16. So I had to do 16 teeth on the top. What I did, I split right down the middle, split the difference here and then kept splitting it up until there were 16 individual sized teeth. Uh, we can tweak that a little bit as we go because some of your teeth are bigger than others. But what I'm going to do, I've seen people do like little cylinders and then put them on in between the gaps and then tweak it that way. I think if I did it that way, it would make it look too cartoony or too much like it's trying to be a monster instead of a human skull. So what we're going to do is I am going just to wet this part down. And what I did was I put the lines all the way down onto where the teeth are. So what I'm hoping to do is spread this out onto the upper jaw all right um slight bit of work since my last video uh you can see i gave him a little bit of a chin i tried to make a video on this but i had to keep moving it around and tweaking it and it would have made everybody nauseous just because it was bumping around um but what I'm getting ready to do, I did the bottom teeth just like I did the top. Uh, the only thing I didn't do was put the grooves in the upper part of the mouth. But I did the bottom, or see I did the scoops with the popsicle sticks. Just doing like that. I did the same thing. Ow, that would hurt. I should have always been a chiropractor. Um, same thing. Just notched them out. I've got a neat little trick that I saw somebody else do on YouTube, and I'm going to steal their work to a degree. Um, what this was was this little young lady who she made sharp fake teeth to go in your mouth out of like the little press on nails. So I went to QVC, or it's our little pharmacy. Uh, I found these at, they also have them at Walmart, but I got these at QVC. You get 96 different little, for toenails, uh, not fingernails, but toenails. And it worked really neat the size. Uh, they have a lot of different sizes. You can go big monster teeth, that's probably going to be too big for your mouth, but... I'm, I can trim these down and sand them down just like uh, fingernails. And then we have smaller ones. And these are almost perfect for the bottom teeth. Okay, we're back. Um, a lot has happened. I told you you would see a bright white skull, and there it is. Uh, however, this happened absolutely opposite of what I wanted. I was planning on just using acrylic paint and painting the skull white. The problem I ran into 
is I am not an artist. I didn't show that video because I didn't make it, and two, I can't even play an artist on YouTube. Um, the problem I ran into was I could see every single brush stroke, uh, so I ended up sanding it off, wiping it off as best I could. Uh, you might be able to see some of the brush strokes still. Uh, very unhappy with it. So, I cleaned her all up and I used a primer. Uh, this was just a plain white primer. So it has a little bit of a gray hint to it. Black paint. This is just cheap black acrylic paint. Not a problem. What I did was I mixed it. It's a lot thicker. Uh, it's almost 50-50. It's basically 50 drops of black paint, 50 drops of water. Um, so it's very thick. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to act faster. Uh, I tried a little piece on the bottom, in full disclosure. Kind of looks neat the way I like it. It's going to show every groove. So what we'll do, we'll do a little bit. And then rub it off. And get another one, clean one, just so you're not constantly smearing it around. And voila, you see all those little notches, grooves, sutures.